All right. Y'all want to talk about Flint, Michigan, and the water crisis? Yeah. yeah, dude, that shit's fucking crazy. Mm-hmm. Now, that's real bad. A shitty situation. Oh, well, nah. It, 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 like, we definitely know Flint ain't the only place that got poison water. No, it, it, it's not just that. It's other places, too. Mm-hmm. The shit, the shit go a lot deeper than just the water, man. Yeah. A whole lot deeper. You look at the snacks, you look at the food that they put in the uh, community and everything, and how they spike it with shit. Mm-hmm. Well, it's like it, if you think if you really sit there and think about it, like like ever since all this whole thing happened, water like oh, I can't remember who it was, was it oh freaking uh Wisconsin no nah, um fucking Nestle or whatever has made a huge amount of money on this. Mm-hmm. And like, and I guess like they knew about the and yeah. Well, it's already been proven they knew about the shit already. Mhm. So I don't know what the fuck they were thinking. Well, we know what they were thinking. Oh, Private yeah, prisons. Yeah. Private yeah. prisons. And I heard it was also thing like the like the neighborhood was mostly black or something like that. Mm-hmm. Of course it was. <laughs> That's Private what I've been I don't know if it's. I don't know what's like. Apparently, Michael Moore is from there. I'm gonna say private prisons. That's all. That's all it is, man. Because when you drink lead and it fucks you up mentally, like we we're already seeing the short term effects. Yeah. But think about the long term effects of drinking that shit your whole life, taking a bath in that shit your whole life, the skin conditions you get in, what it yeah. mentally does to you, and then you compile that to the snack foods that are sold primarily. The black people because it's like we don't realize that when you eat flaming hot Cheetos, it's got red forty in it. Yep. And, you know, what Red 40 actually does to you. And it didn't used to have it. Like, when we was kids, Flaming Hot Cheetos was cool. You could eat, like, ten whole bags of it. <laughs> but you eat one or two bags now, you sitting on the toilet, and it feels like your asshole's being ripped inside out with the current ones. Yep. And anyone who's been eating Flaming Hot Cheetos for the past 15 years knows what I'm talking about. You used to be able to eat so many of them and nothing would happen to you. And then they started spiking that shit with that red 40. Yep. Now they turn your asshole inside out. Oh, yeah. That sucks. Man, you on the tour. Shit, man. It's like the distance going and all. Yeah. That's because they're spiking it, man, with red 40. For, for those who don't know. What does red 40 do? It makes you hyperactive and basically crazy, and it also causes cancer later in your life. So when you got these young kids, they've been eating flaming hot cheetos all life. They've been drinking this poison water that makes you hyper and crazy. The more you uh, eat and drink it, and then you have uh, you know our, our Trayvon situations and other situations where you're automatically put in a situation, and your first mental reaction is to go crazy and go hostile on a motherfucker. Well, it might have something to do with what you've been fed, fed. what you've been drinking your whole life. Yeah, look it up, for real. Look up what drinking lead does. Lead poison water. A lot lot of people think a lot of people think lead is what the main. Wait, what the hell's that feedback? What? Somebody got us on speaker. Yeah. Somebody else in the house watching TV. But uh, anyways, I'm just trying to fix my dinner. That's all. Okay. Oh. Okay. Keep going. But yeah, that's the truth of it. When you, they want to say uh, people wilding out, people swinging on cops, you got these people with these mental disorders. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, you're giving them lead, poison, water. And you give them basically poison snacks and food. Oh, yeah, look what happened with Rome. Ancient Rome, dude, when they had the aqueducts, they put the pipes that are lead. A lot of people think that, that was a main contributor to why that shit went crazy, why the Romans went crazy at the end. Exactly. But when you target a specific community with that shit, plus you got police looking to lock up motherfuckers at the drop of a hat, it's like, okay, I'm going to try to arrest this dude. And then when he go hostile and he go fucking crazy, <laughs> gotcha, motherfucker. 
basically. Yeah, it's just a private prison thing, man. I don't know. I don't think uh, a lot of people are looking at it on that level. Probably not. No, there's so, a lot of poison walks. Some people are, but a lot of people aren't doing the math to it. And how all that shit's connected. I guarantee if you go to a uh, a Seven Eleven or any uh, grocery store, and if you look at the snacks that are particularly served to kids. Because all, all people eat flavor hot Cheetos. I don't know what I mean. It's a popular thing. Yeah. Yeah. But the flame of hot Cheetos. Who specifically eats them? Black people. Black people. Yeah, especially kids. Yeah. Yeah. And so when they hyper and they run around half crazy. Half crazy. Well, yeah, you're giving them red forty. And they're using them lead poison water. Yeah. 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 That's why I don't eat them no more. Because I didn't I'm understand that until I came over here to Japan. And I'm like, oh, they got the normal Cheetos over here. Why don't they sell flaming hot Cheetos? And then I saw a meme on it. I was like, Red 40. And then I, uh, my brother sent me some bags to eat. And I looked at the bag. I was like, damn, this shit really does have this shit in it. Damn. Red 40. That's crazy. And then I was Actually, like, I'm gonna look you know, the, I, the effects of Red 40. Yeah, look it up. Like, for real, because it's like, because y'all remember when we were kids, you could eat it. I could eat 20 bags, and I was cool. <clears throat> but it's like, now I eat two bags? Shit. I feel like, like I'm in jail with Mandingo. It's one of the most common artificial things you'll find in candy, baked goods, and cosmetics. According to the Center of Science and Public Interest, Red 40 and other AFCs are cause allergic reactions in some people. Research shows that they can cause hyperactivity in children and immune system tumors in mice. Yeah, they tested it on rats, man. I hear it's a chemical, which the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services says is a... Is reasonably human. Oh yes, it's not really meant for consumption. Really meant for consumption then we put it in anyway. Yeah. Ne next time you go to a grocery store for real, pick up a bag of flaming hot Cheetos and look at the ingredients. Red forty. You will see it on the bag and you'll be like, oh my <laughs> god. I'm not making this shit up. Probably. Yeah, I believe it. Probably. Yeah, I believe it. Yeah. Just look at it for yourself, man. Cause it'll blow your mind. You just start connecting the dots. You look at the poison water. You look at that, as well as the other snack foods. And you be like, "Well, that's why motherfuckers walking around hyper and crazy. Uh, they want to pick up a gun and just blast someone at the drop of a hat now." Yeah, that's probably what it is. Whereas back then, it wasn't like it. I mean, people were still getting blasted. Not on level. Not on level. Up to date. Up to date. Yeah. 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 So that's my take. So that's my take. Private prison. Private prison. Yeah. 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 Y